Good afternoon, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, we hope you'll come back to Mars. Can you tell the music? Can you tell the background where we are? Hi. It's spelled E-P-C-O-T. Bum, ba -da -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, it's our first, first destination is inside that Ooh. inside that geosphere. Ooh, if it's going on right now. Has that tree always been there? That looks like a big new tree. I guess you can chop it up to consistency about what time we get here from leaving work. But it looks like it's down for washing right now. It sounds so beautiful. Finding so, Nemo soundtrack. That soundtrack. Is that Disney ever came out with. Best score, I think. Is that the so, better way? Yeah. I think it's. I don't know. Um, but we are gonna skip Spaceship Earth for now. Do Soren. Maybe Living with the Land. Maybe Figment. Peter called it a trifecta. And then maybe some meatball action. Wait, we can go to the DVC line. We could. If you wanna get a cold pop. 5 30. Let's see how long our trifecta takes. Okay. If we get really good at the lines, it could only take us 30 minutes. I feel like I can smell the land already. Well, you can. know that smell? Yeah. yeah. Well, that is just the sweetest thing. Yeah, we gave up on the trifecta attempt. Only one ride in, but we just don't want to rush. Yeah, we'd rather relax. Yeah. And get some more of our, because future or World Showcase is our favorite. Right. So. So we just want to make sure we're not rushing, that everything's good. We are going to go on Figment, five minute wait, shorter ride than Living with the Land. Depending on how we feel, maybe we'll run up to the DVC Lounge just to get a cold pop. Yeah. But then meatballs. That sounds good. Impossible. Delicious. Hello. You've got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination. Now, don't. Come tie it up. And upside down. Like that. We're going in the elevator to I've go to the... I've never shown the elevator before. I think we've shown it once or twice. There we go. I think they have to do it. Yeah, I think they have to call it. Oh, the ceiling is cool. We are trapped. <laughs> Okay, we're in here later than expected, but it's because when we got in here, we had the best surprise. It literally made our day. Our favorite, favorite guest, member, guest member. Maybe of all the guest members. Sue. The whole, all this she's up here in the DVC lounge part of the time, then other part of the time, I think she's in the office. We haven't seen her since we've been expecting. And we haven't seen her since before the like, shutdown. Every time we come up here, we ask strange cast members, and they're like, why do you know her name? And I feel like the cast members like don't want to tell us when she's working and for right. stalkers, but I literally turned the corner up the stairs and I saw her and I screamed her name so and she went and got the elevator because I was stuck. It, yeah, it wasn't like it didn't get called or whatever. Um, 
And so as I'm going up, I can hear Peter shouting at her. Because <laughs> I was coming up the stairs and I saw her at the top of the stairs because she was actually calling it. Yeah, and for another you. cast member was like, why don't I get that excited of a <laughs> greeting? Because you're not soon. I know, then we were just spent the next 10 minutes like wanting to hug each other and just catching up. And now we're just waiting for her. She had to run back and then we're going to head out because it's 630 and we have to get into line for food and wine. Wow, wow, wow. Such a lovely visit. Yeah, it literally so made my day. So happy we made that call. I know. It was meant to be. I wish I was vlogging when I was going up the stairs because I literally was, you know, it's a big spiral staircase. I hit the corner where I could actually see the top landing. And I literally was like, Phew! <laughs> And she was like, um, but it was so nice to see her. You know, it's one of those things like those relationships you don't like, not that you don't realize, but it's like you forget that you haven't seen somebody in so long, especially during the world of COVID. Yeah. But like, we haven't literally seen her since probably beginning of March if we were lucky. Right. If not February. And she, she just means a, a lot to us yeah. for a, just a, a DBC Launch cast member, right. you know? You know, I don't know what else you haven't done in a while. Huh. Sing your special song. Food and wine, food and wine. Everybody loves love food. food and wine. And with that, that's because we're getting food today. So it is so just beautiful out because it's been a little stormy, breezy and cool, but it is so, it messes with my mind so bad because in 22 minutes, this park's going to be closed. How dark can it be in 22 minutes? It Not just dark. feels so weird for Epcot World Showcase to be shutting down with the sun so out. So Peter got the slider which has horseradish and slaw and I got the, the meatball with the... I'm debating if I want to share it with you or not. We can go just... Bolanzies. Bolanzies. Okay. My friend Dom once said that you'll never feel more alive than during the launch sequence of Rock and Roller Coaster. And I do have to say, this makes me feel more alive. Just enjoying a cool breeze off of World Showcase Lagoon on a beautiful temperatured evening at my favorite park. And probably my favorite place in the whole world. I could just freeze this time right now. Grab a bunch of people, family and friends, and just stick them here with me and let me just freeze that. If that's what you believe heaven is, this is whatever that dream is of yours, this is my heaven. Sarah is a bold faced liar. She told me this this booth opened and it's closed. A bold faced liar. You're a, what did I say? A bold faced liar. Isn't that what it is? It is, but that's just very. You're a bald faced liar. <laughs> I do have a bald face, kind of. Got a little couple of hairs here and there, you know what I mean? Ew. <laughs> the park's closed. Look at it. Um, look at how beautiful this looks with the sun. This picture of me was taken inside that building, oh my gosh, over 20 years ago. And I just have so much joy on my face. I'm very happy. Good. Here's another Epcot gem of Christina and I. And I'm way too big to be in a stroller. I'm 10 years old. Roll low. Well. But that ma I love those masks. Okay, here's the last one. It's me and my sister, Jenna. There's another World Showcase one. But this one is actually really fitting because it was taken right there. Just one pavilion is more beautiful than the next! I don't know about that. I think Germany is the best. You think Germany is the best? Yeah. This is the most beautiful that we've seen tonight, I think. I think so. With the I never realized the tower lights up in the windows, like beautifulness. Yeah. This is a postcard. She's breaking the rules to try to get some hand sanitizer. Oh, it's on still! Hey oh, this when this happened at Magic Kingdom, they, <laughs> they usually turn them off after park clothes. I want to steal some too. The Aristocats music is playing. So there's a little bit more people than we expected to be doing a late night loop. 
So we're taking a break because apparently she's, she's a little more winded than she realized. But we're going to take a break <laughs> right in between Canada and UK to let people leave more before we finish our loop. Catch my breath. This is the best place in the whole world. <laughs> it really, really <laughs> is. She says Morocco. Look how beautiful this resort, this resort, this pavilion is. That's a pretty one. Do you agree, disagree, or are you uncertain? I agree. See, she agreed. It's more beautiful than Morocco. Oh, <laughs> I was tricked. Word, word play. I was tricked. I trusted you. Well. Learned my lesson. Yep. Yeah. Can you ever trust a Canadian? We both take back what we said about the most beautiful pavilion. Because at least at nighttime, everybody knows what is truly the most beautiful. That little baby. This precious gem. The Nemo music. Just such a good night out. Yeah. The best like three hours that we've had in a long, long time. And we have pretty good hours. Yeah. Also, look how awesome our parking spot was. We didn't show the last time we had an awesome parking spot. It was probably right around here. A little bit closer. But coming at the end of the day, especially after rain, awesome parking. Well, it's nine o'clock. Sarah's on the phone with her mom. Wednesdays are usually my off day running, but my schedule got kind of thrown off um, with me riding, riding a bike a few miles to the car dealership on Monday. I did that instead of running, but I also did my long run on Sunday rather than Saturday, and Sunday's supposed to be a short day, and Wednesday's supposed to be my off day, but I ran on Wednesday. Just kicked Eve's treat bowl. Um, so now I'm debating, like, it's nine o'clock, I need to do the dishes, but I kind of want to go on a run, just to work more miles into my run the L challenge. So I'm like, do I go run six? Do I go run two? Do I go run four? Do I not go run at all? Because I really don't have to because I deserve a rest day. And you should have a rest day, especially with me not being so consistent for so long and jumping back into consistency. I don't want to burn out my legs or anything or like a mess up an Achilles again, which I've been really good about stretching and everything and hydrating. I'm going to go for a run. Don't know how far yet. But all I can do is go change and just get out there. I'm going to hate every moment until I actually hit start on my watch and then... We'll see where I am mentally. This is Peter's, oops, it's actually not Peter's Eve. This is Eve staring at Peter until he goes to bed. This might be too loud of a clip, so I'll be quick. Peter ran and did the dishes. Kick and butt, and it's before midnight. And um, I ran too far though, and I need to get up early and run again, so oh, it's like a dopey challenge kind of back to back thing. I'll do the daily message. The 17th, surround yourself with people who make you hungry for life. Touch your heart and nourish your soul. Anonymous. I just got off the phone with my mom. We talked for over two hours. We found our old house, like not the house that we go and visit, like the house that we lived in before that was recently on the market. We can like see all these pictures of it. It was so crazy. Um, but it's a really good conversation, good talking with her. Um, I'm sleepy, so hopefully we go to bed soon. I got freelance work to do tomorrow. I have to take Bet to the groomer tomorrow. Um, and so that's just more than I even typically have to do besides the vlog. So, gotta go to bed so I can get up at a decent time. Somebody had asked for a bump date, and so here it is, here's our little baby boy. I turned 34 weeks yesterday. So we have six weeks left. I did all the dishes but one pan, but it's troublesome. So I'll deal with that tomorrow. I'm very thankful for you. I want to capture um, little Jimmy baby boy Express. moving. Little Jimmy baby boy Wait, Express. Isn't he tricky? Whenever you try to... He's so tricky. Whenever I try to, to take <laughs> he a video... Does not. Not only that, but it's for anybody but you. I know, I like to tell Peter and then... I put my hand on her belly and he's like, sorry, Dad. But you feel him a lot, but just like... I have to trick him. By accident. Yeah, whenever, you're, whenever you get my attention, it's like, he knows. And then 
he like stays still. He's like, <laughs> I'm not doing nothing. Right. I gotta try and catch it on film though, cause he's been making big movements lately. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>